Hey, we're back. I'm Andrea. This is the Talk of San Diego, and we're here with John Byer, also known as Doc, and we're just going to chat with him a little bit. So, you've worked with Tino before? Yes, I have. Um, we, we met Tino about a year ago, or a little over a year ago. We? My wife and I, uh, Lorene, we uh, have not, a... not your other identity. <laughs> not my other identity. She's Maddie <laughs> in another world. Um, <laughs> We're bloggers, uh, J and L Research and Exploration. So we went out just to do a behind the scenes. We were invited by a friend of ours that knew Tino. So we went out uh, to Crestline where they were filming a series, and we shot um, pictures and did a blog. And about two weeks later, our friend said, "Hey, you know Tino's filming, and he'd love to have you guys come out and actually act in it." Now we thought we were just going to be extras, but I actually got a speaking role. And I've been in a couple, awesome. a couple of things with Tino, and he's a great director. Uh, knows uh, what he's doing. He's friendly treats the crew great so uh, it was it's been a lot of fun and have you acted uh previously or no actually no that's the first time i mean college i i yeah. I, I did a, some theater in college but that was you know a million years ago so <laughs> yeah. and is this your outfit for a particular role well, or? We're, we're also reenactors in a place called pioneer town where uh, tino has filmed uh -huh. and so we're reenactors uh, in the 1880s so we go out there once in a while and reenact for uh, tourists, mm -hmm. and we put on shows. So, it, and we just like to, it's it's fun. It's like Halloween dressing up, but yeah. it, it's fun. It's a nice time period, so we enjoy that. Is it is the reenactment um, play or film or? Well, no, it's it's more it's live. It's in live. front of an audience. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, uh, like a live theater. Kind of live theater. Yeah. And there's shootouts, and some of it's comedy. It's it's just fun. We have different skits, so we play different roles during it, bank robberies and things like that. Out yeah. There on your time. And so what is, do you also, um, I mean, you act as well as go behind the scenes, so yes. what would you say is your favorite? Well, I, I like acting. It, yeah. It's fun because you get to be a whole different person, you know, a whole new persona. For sure. So to say, and, and, and it's fun. But I'm also a writer, so I like the behind the scenes. I have a novel coming out uh, named Hunted, May 18th. It'll be Barnes & Noble and stuff. So I'm a writer, so I like the behind the scenes. Yeah. But the acting is so much fun. Except for the waiting around for the um, call. Oh, I know. <laughs> Plenty of waiting around. Yes. Um, so you like westerns also, as well as what other type of genres would you say? Well, my, my novels, because I'm an uh, ex-police officer, so my, my novels are deal with law enforcement, okay. criminal, criminal cases, things like that. Um, but I just like the western feeling. And I was, I'm a native of Southern California. I used to live in San Diego down in Shelter Island uh -huh. on a boat, which was a great life uh, when I was single. Um, but I just like the western feel. I, I just like the time period. Uh -huh. Except when it's really hot. In the <laughs> I know in all this outfit, I mean, how many layers? <laughs> Quite a few. And there was no period shorts or tank tops back then. Uh-uh, so not to appropriate. Be, you have to be dressed apart. <laughs> you couldn't even show your ankles, right, for the girls? Oh, well, the girls, no, no, no. No, no, no that was no. too scandalous. And their hair really can't even be down. Uh, it, 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 well, this is a little different, but in the because uh, certain women had their hair down, certain women didn't. And, uh -huh. uh, and that's one thing about Tino is he is so sometimes almost too picky, but he, everything has to be exactly on on. Uh, oh, for the, sure. Eighteen eighties, and it has to be perfect period of timing and clothing and all that. Uh -huh. Yeah, which is some kinds gets on you, but he th but that's the kind of director is he's great, he's friendly. But man, he wants it. It looks like it, and it better be authentic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, did you have to get the clothing somewhere, or did you have it made? Or actually, some of the, some of the clothing I actually have from um, Tino's, uh, where he purchases his. I went through the same company, yeah. and some I went online. You go online. Yeah. And there's different uh, historical places you can buy. And what's your favorite character to play? What type of character? One. Well, there's a. We're looking at another film from uh, in it. It's Judge Wells Spicer, who was actually a real judge. During, uh, he was the one that did the trial for the Earp Brothers in uh, Tombstone in 1881. He was the one that released them. Um, he, so he's a great... Uh, and if you read his history, he, he's a, fa a fabulous uh, character in real life. He was a judge. He was a prospector, um, builder. Uh, he just did all kinds of things. And he mysteriously disappeared oh. in 1887 in the desert. And nobody knows wh wh where he went. I think he went to Mexico. <laughs> he owed some money, some uh, some people some money. I think he took off. Maybe but. Acapulco or something. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to share with us? 
no, I just want to th say thank you very much for this opportunity. Well, thank and, you. Yeah, it's oh, been a lot last fun. thing, um, yes. does your wife, is she also going to be in this film? Is, does she act? Yes, yes, she's an actress. Oh, yes. do you know what, is she going to play? I, no, or Tino's it... keeping that under, in, in la one, one, ser one um, TV series we did, he, he kind of doesn't always tell you, he tells you a part and then you kind of throw something in on, from the left field to see, keep you on your toes and it always works out the best yeah and this uh, last time he did something like that to me and it was kind of fun but uh, on, on his other tales of yes of tales of the frontier, frontier yeah on the series and what did you do in that one well i was just wa i just was walking across a bar and all of a sudden without knowing it it was a scene i'm in a well, bar in a uh -huh. saloon i'm walking just walking and all of a sudden this uh, girl of the night shall we say just comes up and grabs me and i take her back to the table where my wife is her husband and wife team he didn't tell me that was going to happen, so it was kind of awkward, but you go with the moment, and, uh, and I'm hoping my wife will go, but I'm thinking, her eyes got saying, okay, you're, what are you doing with this girl? <laughs> you know? But it was kind of fun. Yeah. It was fun. Uh, Did so, she get upset? <laughs> no. She, she, she rolls with it. You just have to go with it, as you know. Cool. You just kind of go and do what you can do. Well, thanks so much, well, Doc. Well, thank you. It's thanks. been a pleasure. For talking with us oh, and uh, we're gonna take a short break I'm Andrea this is Doc also known as John Byer and we'll be back shortly thank you